On the line, I have a West Coast veteran. It actually came right to my house. You know, I had to go away for a little while. It was like two factions. It was uh, the Kelly Park Cribs, and it was like the KPH, which was the Kelly Park Hustler. Being MC Ren, we was like, we more a hustler. And when I heard Boys in the Hood, Easy E let me hear that personally. Take me back to that 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 day that you guys um, took that iconic picture. Yeah. But what do you remember about yeah. the whole uh, Ice Cube and NWA split? Did you ever meet Jerry Heller? Yeah, no, I, yeah, I know Jerry. Would you say he was more beneficial to NWA or less beneficial? I'm a, I mean, when I met Shug, Shug was a personal security for uh, the DOC. I didn't like the way that he was portrayed in the movie. Okay. Because he was so much more, you know, Ren didn't just appear at a club one day. You know, me and Ren was out, out doing the shit that, that Q was rapping about. I want to kind of dissect this album, if you don't mind. Um, yeah, go ahead. Because you mentioned a couple names, and I want to I want to slow it down a bit because this is I'm a okay. hip hop nerd, and this shit is 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 dope to me. I'm this is this is on point. I love it. Thank you so much for coming on. Um, no problem. So so you mentioned uh, let, let, a couple names. Um, people from the yeah. '90s might remember um, a song. Mm -hmm. Ooh boy, I love you so. Never ever yeah. ever gone. That was Candyman, and Candyman is in this picture. Um, t yeah. t tell us about Candyman. What do you remember about him? Um, Ken, like I say, he was a cool cat. You know, we always talked about stuff. We didn't, we, we never really did music together. But yeah, no, nah, he was solid, man. And, uh, okay. He, he came out with knocking the boots. You know, it was like, it was, it was his lane. It was what he wanted to do. And, you know, I thought it was real cool. He came out and he got him a hit. Cause you know how it is. I mean, back then, if you had a hit, you know, you could tour. You could do, you know, it opened up the lane for you. So yeah, he, he was real, he was real cool, man. I mean, um, yeah, yeah, he, he was good, man. He was good. Yeah, the one that yeah. the one that even if you look at it to this day, it looks like somebody photoshopped it in. And yeah. um, I want to talk to this guy uh, too as well. But what do you remember about the Latino dude? Because he just kind of oh. looked like he stood out. Crazy D. You know, you know, Crazy D is on Dope Man. Oh, is he the one that said, uh, yo, Mr. Yeah. Man, you think yeah. you're slick, you yeah. so cracked yeah. to my sister? Yeah. I knew now. that. Yeah. No shit. That's okay. Ah, oh, that's funny. Okay. Yeah, Crazy D is a really important part of the story. Crazy D was writing lyrics for, for uh, Eric, uh, you know, EVE, back in the day. Huh. So he's like, he's a real important man. Um, yeah, and he did that part on Dope Man, man. You know, everybody remembers that part, you know, so. That's the part that stands out. Everybody knows. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Was he on the skit yeah. at the beginning where he said, um, "Hey man, I got this. Uh, I got these this yeah, jewelry." Man. And he, yeah, get that. Yeah, take that shit to the Mexicans or something like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He was actually yeah. He wow. was good. That's dope. And uh, and that, that gun he has around his neck. I didn't even see that. Oh, okay. Now, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a real chrome boost dude. Twenty-two <laughs> caliber gun. Yeah. Hanging from his <laughs> his chain. Damn. I heard about him, but I, that was the first time I met him at the at the. Um, at the photo shoot, and um, yeah, he's good. He's good. He's real cool, man. That's that's real that's cool. dope, man. Damn, dude. Yeah. Thank you so much for for sharing that story, man. Um, nah, no problem. Talk to me about what you remember about the Feel of Fresh crew. Feel of Fresh crew. Hmm, that was Doc and them. That was DLC and them, right? From Dallas, right? They were they were the Dallas yeah, crew. Yeah, yeah. Dre, Dre discovered Doc. I don't know. I don't quite know how that happened. Really, I remember the first time I met him. We were at Lake with Mom, and and, you know, he was with the dudes, and he was like, oh, this is my new artist, uh, D.O.C. And he was cool, he was kind of reserved, you know. You, you, you from, especially back then, when you're from somewhere else, and you hear about how crazy these, these cats are, and oh, you say the wrong thing, they gonna shoot you if you're wearing the wrong color. And that, that could have been uh, true at some places. So when I met him, he was kind of like, kind of that vibe. Like, you know, I don't really know these cats, you know, I'm trying to, you know, I'm cool, but you know, so. But he had an aura about him, though, you know. And then when I heard his music, I was like, oh, my God, this dude is, he's just, he's fucking incredible. I mean, the, um, that that record, no one, uh, no one can do it better. Yeah. I think that's one of the best uh, albums we ever produced, really. So I love it, man, because it's all over the board. It's rock and roll, it's hip hop, it's, it's everything, you know? Yeah. So, so, yeah, so, man, that dude was a killer, man. It, it, if he didn't have that accident, he would have been one of the, he would have been one of the top guys. He would have mm. been up there. Damn, yeah, he had a, for anybody who doesn't, doesn't know, he's talking about DLC, who was in a horrific car accident, like, in the early yeah. 90s, and it just messed up his yeah. vocal cords, and yeah. that pretty much uh, ended his career, unfortunately. Um, yeah, come home, from, come home from the studio, man, he was sleepy, man, he just fell asleep, man, and, um, 
he had a horrible car accident. And they, they actually didn't find him in the car. They found him up in a up in a tree. Ugh. He got ejected. Ah. So he was like, he was really fortunate to be alive. But mm. you're talking about somebody that can write and somebody that can rap. Just I mean, he's just incredible. Mm. Mm-hmm. He's incredible. And Dre always had that knack to find the guy. The, you know, he finds the ultimate guy, like like Eminem, like the story yeah. about Eminem. I, I heard about that. Now that, that was a trip too. But uh, but to stay on topic though, yeah. Mm. That's what I know about them. It, it was him. It was Dot. It was his homeboy Tilo. It was real cool. That was a DJ, and I think it was another cat. I forgot the other cat name. Uh, 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 Rock, I think it was Rock. Rock. I think his name was Rock or yeah, something like that. Exactly right. Yeah. Yeah. And he said on uh, on mind blowing. It's dope. I would have been down with Rock, but I was broke. I'd be broke by the punk that part. I'm Doctor gonna Rock. Drop Doctor yeah. Rock. Yeah. So yeah. So that was his guy. But he, you know, when Dre started, when Dre gave him the call, of course he started, you know. Messing with Dre, yeah, man, it was it was incredible. It was a incredible time, man. Mm. 